time for you guys. Uh, what I'd like to do is um, start this off with my favorite poet. His name is Jalaluddin Rumi. Rumi uh, is a Persian poet. He's, in fact, the greatest Persian poet that ever lived, in my opinion. Um, and I'm sure many would agree. Uh, in fact, that quote did, that David had up there um, was actually a quote from Rumi. Um, this, I think, this, this is a, a translation by um, Coleman Bark, who brought Rumi to North America um, through NPR. This, this translation of one of his verses is something that really resonates with, uh, with me. The idea of searching for the meaning of knowledge has been very important to me um, and to EDEP. The way we have developed information in the past, especially organizational information, not uh, operational information that's in a database and tables and columns, but particularly organizational information, we have not had a convergence of knowledge and documentation. And so Integrate was an attempt to solve that mystery. Now, according to this, it might take us another 40 years to finish that job. Um, however, it is important to realize that the, this particular search for finding excellence in working with knowledge is a non-trivial task, and it will take a long time, not only for technology to evolve, but for people to evolve to that point. I think those of you who have seen Integrate um, would attest to the fact that Integrate uh, has taken a very unique approach to developing requirements, how it approaches requirements as knowledge as opposed to documents, which most people often look at requirements as. So this is a long journey, and, and we are committed to this journey, uh, and I think it, it's been a fun journey so far. Forrester um, ha, ha, has, uh, has identified that there are two parts to requirements, management and definition. And according to them, the greater opportunity today is with requirements definition. Management we've been doing for quite some time, um, and we've got great tools, as in Visual Studio today, uh, for requirements management. But what about requirements definition? And that's an area where there's a big gap. I'd like to suggest, as we take a look at uh, the taxonomy of how we look at requirements, you will see that Integrate helps the definition of the why, the what, and the how of the project, all the way starting from business requirements, looking at goals, objectives, key performance indicators, as Glenn was mentioning earlier. That's the centerpiece. And then you build everything around that, such as user requirements and business rules and constraints. Uh, define the people, the process, the reporting specification, the events, and how does it all come together? as an integrated body of knowledge. Now, the integrated body of knowledge is really important. Because when you have fragmented information, it's very difficult to follow the train of thought of how does things come together, how to make meaning of it, how, what is the context of that information. Integrated body of knowledge gives you that meaning. The other thing, uh, there's actually two things I'd like you to consider. How much redundancy do you have within your, within your organizations? The information that you hold, how much redundancy is there? 10 times? 100 times? When you look at information in a broader way, let's take a look at the internet. How much redundancy is there? A million times? Maybe a billion times? Only absolutely crazy. What happens when you create redundancy is that you're reinventing and you're not building knowledge on knowledge. You're just rebuilding the same knowledge over and over again. So when you, when you can start architecting your knowledge in a way that the knowledge is normalized, i.e. there's no duplication, that's a really good place to be. And that is what Integrate does. It normalizes the knowledge base. So a piece of information only appears once and you can reuse it 
but you can also repurpose it. And that's a wonderful place to be. So when we achieve this idea of normalization, and you've built your knowledge base as an integrated body of knowledge, then you can own engineer wonderful things from that knowledge. What we have found is that, and one, one of the things we have done in the past is we have taken documents from organizations and said, give us the document, we'll put it into integrate, we'll convert it to knowledge, and let's see what happens. And they'll give us an 80-page document. And out of that 80-page document, all of a sudden, they have all the use cases, all the test cases, all the traceability matrix, all the flow charts, all the swim lane diagram, everything, the knowledge was in there, but the information that was created was not intelligent. It was just content. And so with content, you can't transform it, you can't make sense of it, you can't effectively reuse it. And that's what Integrate does. It takes content and transforms it to knowledge, which is our greatest asset today. So as we start to build knowledge in the future, consider building knowledge, not content that needs to be transformed to knowledge. So start with that point. I think you'll find the world to be a much more pleasant place, especially for business analysis, for the VAs. It will be a much better place to be. Now, these documents normally take a tremendous amount of time to develop. Um, Integrate makes it relatively easy because the focus is on creating the knowledge. One of the things that we have done in our 2010 release is that we have integrated with Word and Excel for custom reporting. So if you need a report that Integrate doesn't pro provide, so these 25 reports doesn't sort of cater to what you need, then you use Word and Excel to customize and create your own reports. Right? Um, this is the ecosystem that we work in. Integrate has many components to it, all the way from business modeling to requirements solicitation, uh, requirements analysis, automation of diagramming and documentation.